We have people that are they're, they're babies. In many ways, I guess they're stupid, you know. People say, please don't use bad language. Please don't call people stupid. They're stupid people. How else do you describe it? I want to use a different word, a highly a more sophisticated word than stupid, but there's no word. It's a perfect word. They're stupid people. I think they're also, by the way, if I might, they're also corrupt. They really are. They're corrupt. They get a lot of money from a lot of people. We're not going to let this socialist lunatic, and she's a socialist lunatic. That's the other thing. Please, sir, please don't call her a lunatic. I said, but that's what she is. She's a lunatic. She's a lunatic. She's going to destroy our country. And she's going to break our economy even more than it's broken. Yesterday, Kamala laid out her so-called economic plan. She says she's going to lower the cost of food and housing starting on day one. But day one for Kamala was three and a half years ago. So, why didn't she do it then? So, this is day 1305. We're at 1305. So, why isn't she doing it now? Why doesn't she get away from her nice little place with her wonderful husband, go to Washington and do it now? You could do it right now. Why does she go to the convention? Because it's a rigged convention, obviously. She got no votes. He had 14, you know, Sleepy Joe had 1,400, 14 million votes. She got no votes. She failed. She was the first one out. She failed. She never got to Iowa. Great state, Iowa. We're going to win it big. The farmers love Trump. And I love the farmers. But she never got to Iowa. She was the first one to quit. And now she's running for president. I don't know. Somebody's. Somebody's going to have to explain our system to our many, many enemies all around the world. They're watching this saying, this place doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. Everything Kamala Harris says in her speeches is a lie. You know, she gets up and just lies. I was watching her yesterday. She talked about all the taxes I was going to raise. I never said that. I'm, I'm lowering taxes. Yesterday, she got up. She started ranting and raving that Donald Trump wants to put a tax on gasoline, a tax on food, a tax on medication, a tax on clothing, a tax on every single thing that was ever invented. Your hat he's going to tax. Your shirt he's going to tax. He's going to tax your wife. He's going to tax your husband. And I'm saying, I never said any of that. They make it up. On election day, we're going to tell her that we've had enough. We said, Kamala, you are a horrible vice president. You're going to be a horrible president. We're not going to take it anymore. Kamala, you're fired. Get out of there. You're fired. Not going to take it anymore, Kamala. We're not going to take it anymore. We have a country to save. And how about the fake news? Oh, look at them all back there. Look at all those cameras. Look at all those cameras. Wow. Look at all those cameras, all those fake writers. Look at them. I mean, Time Magazine. Think of this. Time Magazine doesn't have a picture of her. They have this unbelievable artist drawing her. And I said, is that Sophia Loren? I couldn't. Who might that be? Is that Elizabeth Taylor? They say she was a beautiful woman. Who is it? It's so beautiful drawing. It's a drawing. They took a lot of pictures. It didn't work out. So they hired a sketch artist. I said, I'm sure, oh, they must be celebrating the great life and times of the magnificently beautiful Sophia Lauren. And you're not allowed to say this anymore. You know, David, don't ever get caught in this trap, David, please.
Don't ever call a woman beautiful, because that'll be the end of your political career. Please. I want to make your life much easier, David. By the way, he's also got a great wife, I have to say. He's got a great wife. But, you know, I mean, I read a, a so-called Republican who Ronald Reagan didn't like, by the way, and she didn't like him, but she got credit for being this Reagan speechwriter. Highly overrated. I don't know anything about her. I don't know her. Treats me badly, but that's okay. She called it wrong. She's called it wrong now for about eight years. But she said one thing that got me. She said, Kamala has one big advantage. She's a very beautiful woman. She's a beautiful woman. So I decided to go back and reread the clause. I'm not saying he's uh, but I say that I am much better looking than her. I think I'm much better. Much better. I'm a better looking person than Kamala. No, I couldn't believe it. She said, you know, I had never heard that one. They said, no, her biggest advantage is that she's a beautiful woman. I'm going, huh. I never thought of that. I'm better looking than she is. In her speech yesterday, Kamala went full communist. You heard that? She went full communist. She wants to destroy our country. After causing catastrophic inflation, Comrade Kamala announced that she wants to institute socialist price controls. You saw that. Never worked before. Never, ever worked. As president, I will go after the bad actors. And I will work to pass the first ever federal ban on pr price gauging on food. This is the Maduro plan, Venezuela. Maduro plan of, like, the old Soviet Union. This is, they tried it. How did the Soviet Union work out? It became Russia, a smaller version. It was a smaller version. It will cause rationing, hunger, and skyrocketing prices, just like their Inflation Reduction Act caused. One of the great scams of all time. They got it approved with a beautiful name, Inflation Reduction, because inflation under their system has been so bad. It's gone up much more than 50 percent. You know, they say 30, 40, 50, much more. People are being devastated. They're being devastated. But it's gone way up, way up. And they made a big mistake yesterday in her speech, I think. She said, I, I had to play it back. You know, I love the playback controls you have nowadays. They used to call it TiVo. Now they have TiVo all the... I think it's the single greatest invention. It's better than television, because television would drive you crazy if you couldn't do a playback, right? Now I can play back. I heard the statement, and I heard that statement that she made. And I said, you know, she made a statement yesterday that from her time in office, essentially, prices have gone up by 50 percent, something like I said, did she just say that? I said, that speechwriter is going to be fired. In fact, we took that section and we actually made a commercial on it. And we got the best commercial of the week. And we didn't do anything. We just played her back. But here's the problem. The things that she said yesterday don't work. They have never worked. They've never been used many times before in many other countries. They've never worked. They've just never worked. They've been used oftentimes, many countries, and in every single event, it ruined those countries. It's a communist system. It's what her father, a Marxist, he was a Marxist, it's what her father taught her from a young girl growing up. She's promising to hand out things. She can't deliver. She can never deliver them. She'll never get them approved. Just like when she and Crooked Joe tried to give away student debt. Remember, she wanted to pay. How did that work out? Not too good. The students are saying, I love him because of student debt, but he got rejected. And this will be rejected even more so because what they're doing is a communist takeover of our country. Her plan is very dangerous because it may sound good politically, and that's the problem. And we have to be very careful because when somebody gets up and says, we're going to give you everything, 25000 for a house, we're going to give you all sorts of little goodies, free health care, we're going to give you everything, universal health care, sounds so beautiful. 
And I told my people, you got to be very careful. I told the Republican Party, you have to be very careful. She's given all this away. And somebody that really isn't into it, you know, we're largely, even groups like this, we're into it. We think about it all the time. We want to take back our country. We want to save our country. When somebody's given, and you understand how bad this stuff is. This is communist. This is Marxist. This is fascist. But you know what? It's dangerous because she's saying that she's going to give away things that she'll never be able to get approved. She wants to increase the number of justices of the United States Supreme Court to 27. 27.